I'm going to move my camera so it's a little bit out of the way here. There we go. I know you guys need to see my pretty face while we're uh, getting some Axie time in. So Shade will be going second, and that's why he starts with this cute energy coin here. And uh, that'll be a zero cost. That'll give him plus one energy to, to make up for the disadvantage of going second. So it'll be on Phil here to go first. And these two gentlemen are being very patient so that we have just a little bit of time to digest what's happening here. Oh, my God. My turn time is running out. And yeah, go. go for it. I'm loaded <laughs> oh, in. Man. You can go ahead and start playing. Sorry, I probably should have gone ahead and tell you that. Rosa. Uh... Rosa is good, man. Man, I'm still reading these like card descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many effects. All right, so we've got uh, Jeff K, who's well studied and has a very synergistic triple aqua lineup that we'll dive into, and then we've got Phil, who's still reading his abilities here uh, as we get into the game. So we'll go ahead and read them together. Uh, he does have two axes with Rosa. Uh, innate, a lot of things to digest on this screen, but innate means you start with it automatically, so you have some strategy there. Uh, and obviously you get to apply poison and sleep to random enemies. Um, then Banish takes the card. It doesn't go in your discard pile. It just goes away. So cards that have Banish, once they're Banished, uh, they're done. They're, they're like out of the game, so to speak. They go into a dead pile, hey. I guess you could say. Can I talk out loud here? Is yeah, okay? please. All right, yeah. So since I go second, I get that energy coin. So I'll get four energy, but I don't have to use the energy coin right away. Um, I could save it for future turns because it has retain. Um, so this classic aqua build um, is one of the oldest origin builds. <laughs> uh, a lot of people during the playtest played this. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I was gonna use this one too, but. I decided not to because tried to mix it up, let people see some different things. But yeah, this is a very solid, solid build. I'm gonna telescope for the koi here. Let's see how this works. I do 165 damage in that because I have three aquas. Uh, I'll do a lamb here. And now we're gonna see the beauty of Shoalstar, the energy coin. Use my energy coin. And it'll show star here. There it is. So a bit of like a culling blade type ability. If you're f familiar with Dota 2, any Dota 2 fans out there, if they're below 120 HP, then it auto kills. So uh, very powerful. You've probably seen that one on Twitter. I think Chuck Fresco was tweeting about it uh, being broken already and uh, hasn't even played the game yet. So right, man, this is a this is a no mercy game. I just I'm just gonna get rocked here. Um, so you can see here I have this card, the Fallen's Longsword. Oh uh, yeah. That actually is because uh, yeah, my my uh, dead Axie, uh, or not dead, painted, whatever it is, um, now gives these cards in replacement of theirs. Yeah, um, revenge cards. This is this is a, a new mechanic we haven't one. talked so about at all yet. It. Okay, so a new reveal. Yeah, um, and, and the idea here is that um, you get too limited if all of, like, if you have a dead Axie and then all those cards are just gone, um, and you can't draw cards that do zero because that's way too much of a detriment, so you get these kind of half cards that are called revenge cards. So as you get down to that final Axie, you do get some extra kind of RNG with the card draw uh, based on whether or not you're drawing cards for your alive Axie or if you're getting these revenge cards. But the revenge cards are banished cards, so um, they only get played once, then they go away. Uh, you can see Silence Whisper, uh, much better now. It's just a targeted heal, plus 65. No longer has to be an Axie in front, so I think uh, Silence Whisper both has a great looking cosmetic and a very useful active. So you can see some of the synergy in uh, what Shade is doing here. He's got the telescope on two axes. It's a banished card, but it lets you draw aquatics. You've got the Nemo, which is a zero cost. Gain one energy if your axie is at full HP. So a little finicky. And if you're not at full HP, then it just heals you for 25. Yeah, you can see uh, some of the, the aquas here have higher HP as well. Um, there are some some runes that will uh, uh, really bump those up. Yes. Yeah, aquas can kind of be tanks now, it seems like. Um, there you go, little Nemo 
heal. And of course, there's double Nemo now. You got the Nemo fin, and you've got that Nemo tail. So, two different types of Nemo. Green Ranger here. Yeah. So, here's, here's a. Uh... <laughs> what do we got, Phil? Yeah. What are we doing? Uh... Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, the, the goal I was trying with this build was just poison, uh, uh, poison nonstop, but definitely hurts that one of, one of my guns are gone already. Um, but this is a, this is a super, uh, you know, uh, important one for poison green thorns, apply two poison six times. Um, uh, and once you build those up, you can really get the poison going. I see. Uh, you didn't go for the strawberry though, huh? Uh, yeah, strawberries. Yeah, I wanted to show that too. It, uh, yeah, gives you, uh, once you get those strawberries, uh, you can, yeah, target, uh, uh, differently. It's healing based, of course, as you would expect with the strawberries. And the poison mechanic works slightly differently here in Origin. Um, now you have this, you just saw one stack falls off per round. So you do slowly cleanse, but you'll see that poison does get added a little bit more easily. Uh, there's a little more AOE to play with. Yeah, and it can stack up to 30. And each stack does three damage. So is a lot. get a lot of damage. Yeah, it is a lot. And it's happened many times before. It's not difficult to get to 30. So, more energy from what Jeff K has here. Blue Moon on two of the axes. You get a card draw. So, um, if people are wondering why my HP is so high, it's because of the runes and charms, right? Um, if you click on my aquas, you'll see that I have Heart of the Ocean, which is a mystic rune, which gives all my axes 75 HP. And all three of them have part of the ocean. So <laughs> you run three aquas. Each one gets a mystic rune that increases the HP of your entire team. So triple aqua, you can just beef up and get these super tanky boys. Dude, right. that's it. That's really, really good. That's, that seems uh, seems quite strong, Mr. Shit. Yeah, almost too good. We'll see about those. <laughs> All right, another Shoal Star. So, Green Ranger uh, instant trouble. On my last legs. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else, what else do we want to... Yeah, these are these are mostly show-off builds, so let's see what else we can show. Um, yeah, here's a, another... A couple of revenge uh, cards. Yeah, revenge cards. Um, so you can see, like, the Fallen Shield, it's both Ethereal and it's a Banish. So Ethereal is when your turn ends. If the card is still in your hand, it gets banished. Banish cards are removed from your deck until the end of the battle. Uh, and then when you use it, it also gets banished. So it's kind of saying, like, hey, use it or lose it. Yeah, you, it's, it's not shown, I think, in the, the live stream, but there's a bunch of other... Uh, other UI that we have here that shows like how much energy we have, our discard piles, and all of that too. Um, so that's just not not shown in the stream, though I believe. Ah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so we are watching on the spectator mode right now. That's designed to be able to see like both sides. Uh, obviously, the interface does look a little bit different from the the total first person perspective. So one, one thing to note here also is energy does not carry over like it does in Classic. Um, so you want to make sure you use all your energy. So it's it's kind of funny when you mouse over the like uh, discard counts and like how much energy you have this round. It just says enemy for both of you. So I, as a spectator, I guess you're both my enemies. <laughs> We're all enemies. <laughs> Nemo. So I can't kill here, um, but I can do 50 damage with Shoalstar, and I might as well because I have two energy left. And There's no such thing as saving energy or cards anymore. So like you might as well play this Teal Shield, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You have nothing to gain by not playing it. Right. Uh, gotcha. All right, what do we have? 
down here. All right, Phil, big card nothing. draw here. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that is going to save me at this point, but uh, yeah, we can throw some things on. This is some bleed. another uh, somewhat easy uh, card. Kotaro seems pretty good to me. Deal two hits to random enemies, gain one energy if at least two enemies are hit. And of course, Phil gets unlucky. <laughs> So that's a bummer. No good there. Doesn't give yeah. you extra energy. I like it. Yeah. I, I think um, I, I, I like it a lot. You, as you can see on my frontline axi, I have Kataro and Carrot. Um, meaning I can get you know some decent free damage if everything goes right. I also like Carrot. Something else you uh, were able to draw here. Gain one yep. energy if this attack causes HP loss. Uh, it only does 40 damage, but in my experience, it seems pretty frequent that you're able to get it to trigger the extra energy gain. Seems like a really strong card. And seeing one of the other uh, powerhouses yeah, here with the, the triple aqua, right? The Koi. It's a two energy, does big damage, then it deals bonus damage per aquatic ally. Not bad. Did I, did I disconnect? Can you uh, hear me? I, no, we still hear you. We can hear you, but you're not playing any cards. Did you disconnect? Did you just throw the first game? I'm, I think we might have ran into a bug here. I'm trying to play cards, but it won't play cards. Well, I mean, everything's working My perfectly stream. As, as intended. <laughs> this is exactly... You know, we just wanted to give Phil the one game advantage so he'd have a chance in okay. the series. Uh, I can't enter and let's see what happens when the timer goes out. All right, well, the 1v3. We got a couple seconds left on the turn. And yeah, you, you surrendered. <laughs> <laughs>